Hello, my name is Roxana Moran from Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and welcome to EuroPCR TV. We're here at EuroPCR 2015 in Paris and we've had a fantastic meeting, but I'm here and joined by my colleagues, Dr. Antonio Colombo from uh, Milano and Dr. Uh, Rafael Romaguera from uh, Barcelona, Spain. Welcome. We're here in a really nice conversation uh, on the session of Create Polymer-Free DES in Diabetic Patients. Dr. Colombo, what are your current challenges uh, that you're facing in your daily practice? What groups of patients, especially the diabetics, what are those challenges? You know, the problem with diabetics uh, is uh, thrombosis, uh, is uh, restenosis, uh, and the new lesions. Uh, we can uh, deal maybe with new lesions, with better prevention, uh, better uh, control hemoglobin C, HDL, but uh, instant restenosis is a problem. And we have been uh, striving for so many years to find uh, the ideal stent or the best stent for diabetics, uh, and unfortunately, failures has been the result. Even with these next generation DES, even with next generation DS, I think uh, uh, when you look uh, at the one year follow up uh, and you do angiographic uh, uh, follow up, the risk stenosis is double digit and the TLR sometimes reaches uh, 10%. Wow. Dr. Romaguera, I know that you just presented beautifully congratulations on the results of the reservoir study. Can you just tell us a little bit about the CREATE stent? as well as what brought you to design this particular study, the reservoir study that you just uh, presented here. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, I do believe that the diabetic patients uh, need a drug looting stand with very specific characteristics. And the CREATE stand is a polymer-free drug, look drug looting stand that releases sirolimus from laser duct wells. And the sirolimus is formulated with long-chain fatty acids. These characteristics it might increase its efficacy because the diffusion of the drug to the vessel wall is very increased. For this reason, we designed the, the reservoir trial, which is a randomized trial that compares the CREATE stand with the stand that we thought that has the most robust evidence on safety and efficacy, which is the, the science stand. And we randomized uh, at four centers in Spain 112 patients with diabetes treated with oral drugs or insulin to create or science. And the patients underwent uh, invasive follow-up at nine months with OCT. The primary endpoint was the new intimal volume obstruction by OCT, and the results shown that the, the primary endpoint was met, shown the non-inferiority of the stent, and other secondary endpoints were uh, amazing because the, the late loss of the created stent was very low, was 0.14, as compared to the science stent that was 0.24. And the most important is that the create stands show a very low rate of, of dispersion of the data. So most of the, of the results were uh, very close to zero, but positive, as compared to the science that has some negative remodeling, some positive remodeling, and some cases of restenosis. So very interesting data, interesting stent with the polymer-free technology, reservoir, so the drug is eluded. What did you make of these uh, data? Were you, were you impressed, Dr. Colombo? I was, uh, I was uh, impressed, but uh, not surprised, uh -huh. because uh, I expected uh, this data. Because uh, our experience with CREATE uh, dates back to three or four years, uh, and we have been using this uh, stent in diabetics, uh, and we have been pleased uh, with positive results. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have uh, a formal large-scale uh, randomized study to back up in a more scientific fashion. Uh, this study will be done. So that's the future will plan. Will be done. No question, because uh, we need to convince the scientific and the clinical community that our observations are replicated with a, a designated and uh, prospectively conducted trials. So in your own clinical experience, you've had great results, but you want to show that to the world by really having a prospective randomized studies at multi center. Absolutely, as always, uh, observations need to be confirmed with a properly designed study. We have been uh, burned so many times uh, by smart observations that uh, rest uh, just uh, in the past uh, history. 
Well, this is fantastic, and I think it's an optimistic view for these diabetic patients who otherwise have very little reserve and very little options. So I think that this uh, particular stent could, does show a promise, and I'm looking forward to your large-scale clinical study, Dr. Colombo. And maybe we can go back to Mount Sinai and propose the Freedom 2. Yeah, that, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Freedom well, 2 is create. Well, with that, I think this is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a, a great interview and wonderful to have you both, but a, but a real uh, great wrap-up here at EuroPCR on the CREATE stent in the diabetic patients, its utility, the future plans. Thank you very much for joining in and for listening. Mm -hmm.